Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video tonight I have the CNC right here, CNC Carroyo. First time I had this one, stupid sugar ant. But anyway, first time I had this one, I had the Maduro two times. But this is a very big stick. I only wonder how long this is going to take. But that's it's easily got to be a 6x60 six or something. So I'm going to get toasting on it and cut on it. And I also have Valentine's Finest Scotch Whiskey right there. I got this today. It's good stuff. Never had it before, but I would imagine it is really good. So I'm going to start toasting on this cigar right now. Let's take a look at this. A little flaky at the end here. Draw very beautiful so far. Very loose, very good. Now I'm gonna light this bad boy up. Oh, well, who's <laughs> shit in there? Alright. Very nice so far. Hints of when I was at the bowling alley. When I was little. Got like a bowling alley taste to it. Briefly, but that'll probably go away. Niceness all the way around. Smooth. Dare I say it, but it may <coughs> flavor wise be on the level of. <coughs> if I can get the shit out of here, like little pieces, it could be maybe on the level of a Romeo, even. Who knows? Mild so far, very nice taste. Can't exactly pinpoint it, but it is very good. Mm. Great. Great smoke. These CNC's are not bad and they're cheap. They're like six dollars or something for these. But I will be back with an update in a bit. Talk to y'all later. Back, I'm over an inch in. Just took a sip of whiskey and I'm gonna puff. Okay. The scotch and the cigar seems to go very good together. I don't see any issues with it. 
trying to see what flavors I'm picking up now. Not too much that stands out, but very good flavors. I'm just not picking up certain things in, in this yet. I probably will though. But it reminds me on the quality of the punch rear Karoya. It's almost on that quality. Maybe not quite, but almost. It's very close to that. You know that big punch rear Karoya? Well, this comes pretty, it's about three fourths of the quality, I would say. Clouds of smoke, very loose draw. The veins in here are minimal, I would say. There's some, but not a lot. This is a very well put together stick for the money. It really is. Can't guarantee you'll have it where you're at. But, But this company makes some good sticks. I have one for $2.75 and it smoked like a $7 stick. I kid you not, or an $8. Maybe, maybe about eight, nine. It's, it's really, but $2.75, this brand comes out with some good ones. That one anyway, was, was real good. So, I'm a nocturnal person. I don't know what else to say. I've been a nocturnal person for a while. Get your nose running sometimes. Very good and very smooth. The pairing is very good also. It's about the right strength too, I would say. Mild to medium, but it's gonna get a little more full as it goes along, I can sense. So I'll give an update in a bit and talk to y'all. No update now. The head is this long. So far, I have not dropped ash on it. Have not. It's a very smooth smoke. Again, I highly recommend if you can find it. Well, look online and tell them I sent you. Tell them Smoke and Giovanni sent you. Okay? Stuff. Time to take a swig now. Alcoholism runs in my family, but I managed to be a moderate drinker, or I, I drink very rarely, actually. Uh, but that's my English-Irish side of the family right there. The ash might drop and make a mess, so I'm trying to be careful with the heat dropping it all over myself. I got nice clothes on, too. Right now. So... I'm just sitting here. It's the middle of the night. But I got nothing else to do. Ah, uh, so very good flavors coming together very nicely in this smooth. It's a smooth operator, I should say, a smooth operator. I was in a cigar shop today. I bought a six pack of those Perotti Kings for like six dollars. I, I walked out. I didn't sit in there and smoke. But 
I found these rolled cigars. I might have to review one of those sometime. But I found some real cheap rolled cigars for like, one of them was like $3.95 or something. Freshly rolled. And the people who own the place are Cuban. They don't have Cuban cigars, but they have the closest thing you can get anyway. And some of those rolled blends that they roll themselves. I'm gonna have to try some of those, I'll tell you. I might review them someday, I don't know. But this is going very smooth, as you see. Very nicely, no ashes dropped still. It's going very good. The ash is still not dropped. This is a big cigar too. And sometimes they're harder when they're bigger to get longer ashes on them too sometimes. Sometimes they have to be just the right size, you know? But, but I'm doing it, I manage to do this a lot. Sometimes I can't though to save my life, but on a lot of them I can. It's probably Plus, sometimes I still blow smoke where some of the bugs were roaming, so I still think of that from time to time. Still has not dropped. If I'm going to give an update in a bit, talk to y'all later. Okay, here I am, I'm on this now. This is how far I'm in. The head just dropped. Had a nice run for a little bit. Flavor's coming together nicely though. A little onion, a little leathery. That's right, I forgot to say it. It's a little leathery too. Spice, definite spice in it. Maybe a little paprika, a little bit. It's good stuff. Ah. I did it all though, all over YouTube. I've done drinking videos, 40 ounce videos in under 10 minutes, and I'm on the cigar reviews now. With nice scotch, too. It wasn't that much money, actually. That was 20 bucks for that bottle right there, 750. Valentine's scotch. It looked like the best scotch out of everywhere I went. So I came back to the store and I bought it after I looked at a few other liquor stores. I decided on that one. So. It's a good choice too. So I recommend Valentine's blended scotch whiskey also. Add that to your list. It's really good. Goes well with this too. A nice scotch is good with a cigar like this. That's what I think. Put between the size and all the flavors in it. Something real mild. I just, I wouldn't bother having a scotch with. Ideally, I would say a soda with something mild. But it depends. It's what you want to do. But, but I think a scotch is good with this. Kind of like when I had the Pancheria Carollo, I had a dual scotch. But I had it out at a bar. I had it at a cigar bar downtown Sarasota. But the total ended up being 16 bucks or something. 
But for that, I got a whole bottle of this now. 20 bucks for that. So, we'll see. If you drink out all the time, it can add up, I'll tell you. But, that's why I like doing it, and I like enjoying it, but I don't do it a whole lot. But you got the flavors picking up nicely, some spice, some paprika, some leathery. Not much earthiness that I'm picking up. Maybe toward the end. But, makes my nose run. It has some spice in it, I mean, it's making my nose run, whatever's in it. Very good though. I'll, I'll give it an update in a bit though. I'll talk to you later. Okay, here I am. I'm on this now. This is how far I'm in. The head just dropped. Had a nice run for a little bit. Flavor is coming together nicely though. A little onion, a little leathery. That's right, I forgot to say it. It's a little leathery too. Spice, definite spice in it. Maybe a little paprika, a little bit. It's good stuff. Ah. I did it all though, all over YouTube. I've done drinking videos, 40 ounce videos in under 10 minutes, and I'm on the cigar reviews now. With nice scotch, too. It wasn't that much money, actually. That was 20 bucks for that bottle right there, 750. Valentine's scotch. It looked like the best scotch out of everywhere I went. So I came back to the store and I bought it after I looked at a few other liquor stores. I decided on that one. So. It's a good choice too. So I recommend Valentine's blended scotch whiskey also. Add that to your list. It's really good. Goes well with this too. A nice scotch is good with the cigar like this. That's what I think. With, between the size and all the flavors in it. Something real mild. I just, I wouldn't bother having a scotch with. Ideally, I would say a soda with something mild. But it depends. It's what you want to do. But, but I think a scotch is good with this. Kind of like when I had the Punch Rear Carollo, I had a Dewey Scotch. But I had it out at a bar. I had it at a cigar bar downtown Sarasota. But the total ended up being 16 bucks or something. But for that, I got a whole bottle of this. Now, 20 bucks for that. So, we'll see. If you drink out all the time, it can add up, I'll tell you. But. That's why I like doing it, and I like enjoying it. But I don't do it a whole lot. But you got the flavors picking up nicely, some spice, some paprika, some leathery. Not much earthiness that I'm picking up. Maybe toward the end. But, makes my nose run. It has some spice in it. I mean, it's making my nose run, whatever's in it. Very good, though. I'll, I'll give it an update in a bit, though. I'll talk to you later.
Back again. This is a long review. It's probably gonna be. But got some more scotch. And I I'm noticing the smoothness is still the same in this cigar. It's very good. Coming together like that. Bird's very nice. I gotta say that. Making my nose run. Very good smoke. It's up there with some of the top quality ones that you smoke, probably, to anyone watching this. It's up there with a lot of those. And I'd say it's up there with the Puncheria Carroyo also. It's close. It's a close cigar to that. It really is. And for less, too. The Puncheria Carroyo is still pretty inexpensive, also. Look at that. No problems with the output in the uh, draw or anything. Nothing. Very good. You know, I'm tasting a little bit of, maybe a little bit of coffee ground now. A little bit. Yep. It's coming in now. Some. Switch to a heavy medium body, I would say. A heavy medium, which isn't full, but it's getting up there with the medium anyway. And all the flavors are blended together very good. That's what I find about this stick here. It's just a very nice all around cigar. Look at that. Burning nice around the perimeter. Maybe a little uneven, but not much. It's very fixable from here. Smoke output, excellent. Can't complain about it. If my power goes so low on my battery, it isn't even funny sometimes. But that's where I'm at with it. Very good though. It's nice to have nice things. The drink top stuff, you know, drink. Maybe stuff not at the very top, but still very good. Good enough, you know. Not too cheap. I live by a golden rule. Whiskey and a lot of liquor has gone up in price. The cheap stuff has even gone up. So you might as well get the better stuff. Pay like six bucks more and just get the better stuff, you know. That's where I'm at, you know. But that goes very well with this cigar. The flavors are coming together. I'm getting a little... Not vanilla, but... Like leafy. A little leafy. Uh, I'm going to make another video maybe too. But this is, this is going to be a lot of time on the video. Though. Talk to you later.
whatever it is right here, this might be one of the last videos I make for the night. Over an hour, I'd say at least maybe an hour and a half in now. If my math is correctly, if I can calculate correctly. It's about to drop. and slight earthiness, a little nutty, spice, the spice is still in it. Ah, it's growing another head on it, as you can see. Wow, that's it, I just dashed it once, wow. Lose track. But yeah, it is, it's a six by, it's a six and a half by 60. It turns out, if anyone could read that, it's a six and a half by 60. Great smoke output still. Definite good flavors, so great flavors in this. It's very much up there with the Punch Rear Carollo. That rear series that they're gonna be discontinuing soon. <clears throat> it's real good. Compliments the cigar well again if I didn't say so before. It's probably gonna be an all nighter. I'm probably not gonna sleep. At least for a while. It might drop soon, but yet it may not. It's coming close to the label. Uh Yeah, this is good. Very good. Other than the initial where I was getting pieces in my mouth from the cut. But it's been smoking nicely. It's a very good smoke. Very good. I thought it was going to be damn good. But I didn't expect this long. Maybe I did, but I don't know. But I didn't expect it to be, I don't know, maybe I did though. I don't know. Sometimes I can predict cigars before I smoke them. I can pretty much tell how they're going to be and then they smoke that same exact way. Or I haven't been wrong on too many. But awesome smoke though. Tell you, very, very good. I might film myself at Bennington Tobacconist again when I go back there. And I'll have to show Edward Allen, if you're watching. I will have to show you that shop. Once you know it on Facebook, I get the pictures, but you're not on there now, so. But I'm going to shut this off. I think it's been a good smoke. I think this will be the last video. I think it will. But talk to you later.